Yo, Chantron readers, GDR here. The next question that you sent in that I'm answering here in this little series is, who is your favorite character? That's so tough. I love them all. They're like my kids. I love all the characters. They're like my best friends in a way. I love Carla. If I had to pick one, it's Carla. For a lot of different reasons. In a, in a sense, the only real hero I had in my life growing up was my mother. And in a sense, I've tried to put the struggle that my mum went through in life and some of the things she's experienced into Carla. I also put some of the sterling qualities of courage and self-determination, of self-confidence, of making your own way in the world into Carla from other women I've known and seen. I also wanted to create a character through Carla that kind of explains what it's like for a woman to be in the middle of a very confronting male world, being surrounded by male egos doing male things but maintaining her Carlaness, her, her essential self. She's not the slave of anybody, and she can do just about anything at any second with Carla. You never know what she's going to do next. So I love that about her. And also I love that every aspect of Carla is a mirror of Lynn. Why I, why I, what I love about her is that she's reflecting him in a, in a different way. It's, it's like the feminine and the masculine aspects or principles in a way. She's coming from a place where she can't go back but she also can't commit because she's running away from the police. Lin's in the same situation. He can't go back, but he also can't commit because he doesn't know what's going to happen tomorrow. He could be anywhere, anything could happen. So the two of them meet each other, and they're kind of like soulmate mirrors of each other. Lin's negatives are reflected in her positives. Her negatives are reflected in his positives. Carla killed someone. Lin just not capable of that. Lin's not a killer, and it's not in him. It wasn't in me, thank God. And it's not in the character Lin. So I think that these are the aspects that make me love Carla, but also keep coming back to her as a compelling character. And I never want to let her go, in fact. I, I want her to spin off and have more stories. She continues to fascinate me. When other characters might settle into the worlds they were in, Carla keeps going in my mind, and I still want her to have her own vigorous, independent life, apart from anyone else, including Lynn or Kadabai or anybody else. So my favorite character, Carla. And I hope that makes it a bit clear for you guys. I love your questions. Keep them going. Blessings.